What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to our video today. Today we're going to be talking about how to run the football out of the uh, Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. And uh, the formation that I like to use uh, primarily when I want to run the football is the split close. And I like to use the combination of the fullback inside and the power O. And uh, basically what you're going to be doing with this is we like to actually flip the formation, but since we're going to be audibling into it, we can't, unfortunately. Um, but you'll just see here, I mean, you see this fullback inside and how good it works. It, it, it's just a really nice little quick hitting run play. And, uh, you know, when we audible into this, so for example, let me show you what's going to happen. So we would be in like a double set. And so we would be running our levels, running our levels, and, and, and running all that. And, and this is basically what the levels looks like. So then I might say, okay, well, I want to go motion across here, and this is how we're going to do our motion. And then we're going to go back all, and we're going to go into our split close. And you see how it's a nice little clean transition. And if we feel like they're not honoring the run, we can just get a quick hitter to Jared Cook, who's a really fast tight end. Another thing we can do here is what you'll see is they'll start pitching their line every time we go into this look. And so we'll just audible down to our quick audible with the power O here, and you see that we can run off off the edge here. Now, what I would really quickly note is when we want to run inside, a lot of our plays, we're going to be motioning this receiver across so we can snap him in the A-gap, get a little bit extra blocking. And what this is also going to allow us to do now is, like I said, they maybe start pinching their guys. Now we motion um, – Oops, uh, got my play messed up here. But uh, now we motion, uh, um, now we motion Pettis in when we called that power O. So we, we audible to the power O. We motion Pettis across as if we were on the dive, and they get tricked up. They get caught up inside, and now we're on the outside edge here, uh, looking to try to get some positive yards. And you see, that's kind of how the running scheme out of this is just going to work. It's just going to be a little quick hitting running plays. Uh, they're not designed to necessarily, you know, get huge gains, but they're just designed to simply keep the defense honest uh, in all the three ways of the running game, okay? So as you see, this power O is just doing a really good job at getting us to the edge. The fullback inside does a good job at hammering it right up the middle. And then another thing you can do with the fullback inside is you could actually bounce it outside here. So here you see we just try to bounce it outside, and this is just kind of a worst-case scenario just in case they uh, overplay the inside run. And then the only other thing I want to show you here is a couple of plays here. First and foremost, the play action fullback slide. What we like this this is uh, when we see something like this two man under shell over here. And what you'll see guys start doing is they'll start dropping uh, you know flat zones and uh, curl flat zones to kind of stop the run to kind of protect that edge. And so what we like to do with this is we like to bring Pettis across just as if we were motioning him, and we're going to put him on a drag route, and then we're going to take. Tavon Austin here and put him on a streak pattern. And you see we're going to motion him as if we were snapping and we're going to let him go all the way across here, snap right about here, let the play action go off, and then we're going to try to bomb it over the top here to Tavon Austin, who has really good speed for a receiver and is a nice big play addition to the Rams offense. So that's what we like to do if we see a press alignment and, and kind of see think that they're taking the safeties away. And, and if they're you know if they're sitting back in actual pass defense, that's when we can really take advantage of the running game. And you see how this is really kind of forming into a really nice little mini scheme here out of this formation. Now, if they're in just basic coverages like a cover three or cover four, uh, we really like this close halfback wheel. And we're going to run this the same way as if we were running anything else. And so what we like to do here is we like to put Pettis on that drag again, and we're going to motion him across. We're going to snap the ball once he passes tape on Austin. You see he passes tape on Austin, and you see that we can hit him underneath for quick gains against the zone. Another thing that we can do here, and this is just to kind of keep your opponent off guard, is to actually snap the ball right about here on that little little baby motion inside, kind of keep him kind of underneath. And what that will do for us is if, the, if we're facing just a basic cover three here, and uh, we're wanting to pass out of this formation, what that will do is it will allow us to uh, really kind of hit this deep post over the middle here to Tavon Austin, and you see that we can beat the defense uh, that way and take the top off the D like that. So a lot of things you can do with this package here. I mean, there's several nuances to this, but I felt like if I just you know wanted to give you a quick little something here, but one thing that's also really good is streaking the running backs. Uh, but I can't stress enough the importance of the fullback inside and the halfback power O 
as your kind of main running plays from this formation. They're really good, and they really hit the defense where it matters, right in the middle. And so uh, I think that this is a really good running attack for our offense this week. Um, another formation really quick here that we can actually get to is the pistol trips. And we could actually set like the read option as our as our play here in the halfback stretch. And so you could use that if you want. Um, I find that halfback dives out of the pistol wide trips work really well. Uh, I feel like they get a really good push up front. You get that really nice interior push. Uh, and so it's almost like a guaranteed, you know, two or three yards. So you could you could also add that on here. I mean, it's not gonna take a whole lot to get to the trips. I mean, you see it's a pretty, pretty seamless transition, and uh, you can really kind of use it well. So that's Another little nuance you can use out of this, and then lastly, you could always use our, uh, you know, our trips zone week and things like that. And so, say we want to run trips, then all of a sudden we say, okay, well, we don't really like this look for the trips, so we're going to check out of that and go into our our split close. And now we're going to hit them off the edge with that halfback power O, and you can just kind of see how the motion forward, motion backwards, all that kind of comes together, and it creates for a really nice running set out of the uh, Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. So that's our scheme for today, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with our man beater, and we'll be talking later today how we like to stop the run out of the 46 bear normal, or excuse me, the 46 bear formation. So stay tuned for that, guys, and we'll see you guys later.